Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is your friendly neighborhood Dr. Jimmy128 and I'm bringing to you a StarCraft 2 replay and uh, this time we are going to feature Jack the Reaper as the uh, blue turn here <laughs> spawning on the lower left hand corner of the map this is of course Condemned Ridge and his opponent is going to be M-S-P-B-O-W-S-H-L and I don't know how to read that name uh, <laughs> Hey, for those of you who don't know Jack the Reaper is a very very active member of the StarCraft 2 community and a huge advocate for esports as he is one, of, uh, is one of the most active and one of the latest to join uh, the Evolution Esports of course, he is responsible for a lot of the things that are happening, especially for the Cebuano community. He has conceptualized the uh, Friday night uh, badness thing for Dota 2 over at Black. Big shout out, by the way, to Black e Extreme Esports. They hold quite a lot of tournaments. They're also doing a lot for the esports scene. Anyways, it's going to be a Zerg versus Terran. And, uh, yeah. I haven't been casting a lot of StarCraft 2 games lately because work is crazy. Imagine 30 days of never mind. I won't talk about work because it gets stressful. Happy Valentine's Day! It is February, the the the, the month of love. And speaking of love, we're seeing a spawning pool here where Zerglings can swim, and uh, uh, apparently evolve. So looks like we have the drone now going to scout uh, the base of Jack the Reaper. Of course, uh, Jack now has his barracks up and the drone is going to see a uh hall. -huh. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. And Jack's now going to save up for a uh, command center. It's actually going to go one racks into command center, one racks FE because this is a fairly, fairly large map. This is a four player map. And it really took quite a while for the drone to who? A proxy hatchery. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Let us see what our opponent, what uh, what Jack's opponent plans to do. He already has an extractor on the way. His spawning pool is already completed. It looks like he has rally point set all the way there. So it looks like he's going to do a very very early zergling rush and try to win it uh, very early of course this is a 300 mineral um, investment and it's not even in a good place to mine so this is an all-out offensive proxy hatchery now we have a roach warren aha i see going to do a roach rush very interesting little jack does spot the roach warren as you can see with the scd What does Jack have going on right now? He has a bunker, but it is in his base. Uh, I think this is what this is actually good placement because he's sensing some aggression. And has he spot the has he spotted the proxy hatch? No, he hasn't spotted the proxy hatch. But this uh, bunker placement may be his only. It may be his saving grace. And notice he is even lifting up the command center because he is expecting the roach rush, seeing only one gas no expansion so and yeah what else can that tell you but an all-out roach rush but what jack doesn't know is there is a proxy hatch here but that little bit of information is you know was really all jack needed to take a defensive stance so very very smart play here from jack but he isn't really he really isn't aware of how dangerous the situation is right now he's only expecting a seven roach rush which is your you know uh, your standard roll trust without expanding but he's now getting a factory and a star port looking to grab some hellions however i don't think hellions would be the best um, unit to defend but he can use the hellions to do a little bit of counter attacking here at the base of his opponent food shows 35 to 32 hours or player is ahead over now spawning and we should see a whole bunch of roaches there's one roach uh huh and wow he's even going to push this forward here up to the expansion now jack with the reapers with the reapers i mean with the hell yes that's going to spot 
Oh my, there is creep here. Why is there creep here? Oh my god! But now he's, not, he's going to uh, swap these over, grab a banshee, very smart, that leaving the hellions inside the base, knowing that there is impending doom. And, oh, Jack only has three hellions. And, oh, 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 drop it, drop it, drop it! No! Oh, he dropped it! Mm, that was a huge opportunity for the Zerg to actually do a run by, but Jack, in the nick of time, able to block out and land his building. However, there is still more pressure on the way, and I don't know why the Zerg player is backing off. He's most likely going to wait for the spine crawler to advance ever so slowly, but that does give Jack the opportunity to build up more defenses. Now dropping down two more racks. But if he's going back in his base, continue to inject, continue to make more roaches. No circling speed, those is going to be all out roach bus, roach bus, roach bus. But the wall for Jack is indeed very, very formidable. I'd like to see maybe a Nida Storm, however, he does not have a lair on the way. But still, Jack in quite a predicament. He does have Siege Tank, and Siege Tank is about to complete. And once he gets Siege Tank, he should be able to push this back. That is if he does not get overwhelmed. And here we go, very nice queens here uh, to provide additional backup, additional backup, additional firepower and mo and maybe transfusion but the siege tank is up and this will force our Zerg player to back up but very wise here using the overlord to spot the high ground and uh, the spine crawlers can now slowly slowly work on the marines and everything up top on the high ground but uh, what our Zerg player needs to do here is push in and destroy the tanks, but I think Jack should be able to defend this, uh, you know, this harassment, this crazy, crazy proxy hatch. The Zerg would be wise also to expand. There you go. Very nice move here from our Zerg player, knowing that his opponent cannot expand. He's only down to one base, and eventually he is going to starve. But uh, the Siege Shanks are looking to uh, eliminate the creep. A nice scan would be very useful. Jackie. Okay, he doesn't have enough for scan. But looks like the Roach is the where the Roach is going. He already has quite a nice contain here. Uh, plus, he has creep spread all over the expansion of Jack, so there's no way for him to expand Roaches. Now, just checking for any possible sneaky, sneaky. Expansions, but hello, Hellions! We have a dropship full of Hellions here for Jack the Reaper, and he's absolutely raping the drone line. He doesn't care about the queen that's waving away. He already has two Hellion kills, but Jack now uh, has three 13 total worker kills. Uh, that's eight workers to 27. And Jack is very, being very, very cost effective with these units now, uh, hightailing it out of there. And the Zerg will need to try and power up some drones up. And here come the Marines, they're slowly, slowly pushing out. And I actually didn't see that Medivac move out, so excellent job there from Jack the Reaper. Trying to, you know, scratch and claw, claw his way back into the game, and he has now taken the food lead. And just now waiting for this creep to recede and he should be able to uh, drop down his orbital command but there's still quite a lot of creeps an amazing creep spread here from our zerg player look at those actions per minute from the dude it looks like there are more roaches here and the dropship is spotting everything uh drone production now uh trying to uh ramp itself back up for our zerg player Zergling speed has been researched, but I'm not seeing any Zerglings yet on the field. And now Jack has uh, secured his natural expansion, but there is still one creep in here for guarding uh, creep. And Jack not aware. Woo, come on. Come on, Jack. And his Zerg player now has a second base. He would do well to grab a third. However, he is investing his minerals into an evolution chamber and getting higher tech. So this is also a nice uh, a way for our Zerg player to follow up. But Jack now already has five tanks and looking to slowly, slowly push back the creep. And he is just going to abandon this uh, hatchery, which I don't know if 
if it was a good decision but Jack now aware that there is still some creep here he should be able to take care of that no problem but his main though is slowly slowly being mined out so this is quite a weird predicament here because at this point you know all your build orders have absolutely been uh you know disrupted because of everything that's happening so you're not really sure okay where am i right now what's going on this is so weird so that's why both players a little bit flustered but jack though responding very well scv wise uh the, the zerg player has caught up but jack has two engineering base four racks now already producing the starport for medivacs and continuously producing and pumping out the tanks now that jack should be able to pick up. should be able to take his second base now and also wisely grabbing a third though this base is a little uh, exposed and there's still quite a number of roaches for the opponent though he is not yet grabbing any upgrades he has had his evolution chamber out for quite some time and now saturation looking to kick in for our reserve player and jack the good take out the hatchery that has been uh, very troublesome for him the early part of the game and oh no here come the roaches and attacks are un uh, are undefended jack not looking at his mini map three tanks were taken out but at the expense of half the roach army and the marines now looking to push forward looking to push back uh the zerg army the zerg team on the screen is left for dead and now jack uh slowly slowly increasing his lead bailing speed though on the way for our zerg player but this is a scary scary army right now uh if you are the zerg player army wise jack is uh twice jack's army is twice the size of his opponent and it looks like the zerg now on the back heel two base to two base three base to two base not a good position if you are zergy wergy here comes jack looking to push out we have quite a lot of banelings and zerglings for our zerg player so he's on roach ling and baneling baneling speed though not yet done he doesn't even uh doesn't have that much of an army as look at the food discrepancy here between these two players and jack continuing to reinforce with more marines more tanks even now adding in some marauders to counter the roaches and here comes jack the reaper looking to pull off an amazing comeback here but the, the, the zerg player though going to come in from behind and oh no but jack realizing that the medivac spotting it but the dailings though are nowhere near the marines and the zerg player ggs jack the reaper comes out with a very very nice win nice composure under pressure i hope you guys enjoyed that this has been your friendly neighbor dr jimmy Signing off. Bye-bye.